Hey there, folks. This is Pop Culture. I'm Alex Pop, and I'm here to talk about the recent news of the future of the Jurassic Park franchise. This is a video that I had already planned on doing, but I do want to say thank you to Dr. Chicken for giving me probably my first video request I've gotten here on Pop Culture. So as you may know, in an interview with Collider, Amblin producer Frank Marshall was asked if Jurassic World Dominion is going to be the definitive end of the franchise. He responded that it's not, but is in fact the start of a new era. Meaning that after JP6, we will be seeing more Jurassic Park movies, or a live-action TV series, or perhaps even both. The TV series is very possible because a short time ago, Jurassic Outpost reported that a live-action show is being developed by TV producers Justin Falvey and Daryl Frank, working with the two major overseers of the franchise, Colin Trevorrow and Steven Spielberg. Now, I didn't talk very much about this because I hadn't read a lot of Jurassic Outposts beforehand, so I didn't know how credible they were, but it looks like they may have been right about this. Now, once I had heard about the news from Frank Marshall, my first instinct was to tweet out, So this is what heaven feels like. Maybe, as long as dinosaurs go to heaven. Father, into thy hands I commend the spirit of the Spinosaurus. However, when I let it sink in and I realized that this would more or less change what it always seemed the Jurassic World Dominion was going to be, I started to lean a little more toward mixed feelings. On one hand, I can't help but be excited. There's something about seeing those lifelike dinosaurs on the silver screen that gives me such a great feeling. And with the dinosaurs now inhabiting our world, the possible scenarios that can come from that are limitless, too many for just one movie. However, because the filmmakers seem to have been building it up as the last one, describing it as a celebration of everything that's come before, I was honestly looking forward to seeing Jurassic Park Forever stand as a complete six-part story. My perception has now somewhat changed, but it doesn't necessarily mean that Dominion won't have an element of finality to it. It can and should still round off the arcs of characters from the old trilogy and the new, and there are several that it does need to wrap up. Definitely Grant and Sattler, maybe Malcolm to some degree, and for sure, Claire, Owen, and Macy. Though I could see those three turning up every now and then in future movies. Knowing that they have been making a bigger deal out of this next movie being the end of a trilogy and, by extension, the six-picture arc, and knowing that it does seem to be the story that Colin Trevorrow has been wanting to tell since this new trilogy began, I am optimistic that this will be their main priority. I take into consideration also what Chris Pratt said about the movie on The Ellen Show, that the enormous cast of characters from the old and new trilogies makes it feel a bit like Endgame, and while one of the last things that I want for this movie is for it to straight up try to be Endgame, there are some notes that it can take from that movie, especially the ending. The last 20 minutes dedicated a moment or two to set up for future movies, like Cap passing the shield down to Sam, but the writers knew that the most important thing was completing the story arcs of the founders of the Avengers, with Tony Stark leaving behind the legacy he wanted, and Steve Rogers getting back the life that he lost. And that's what Jurassic World Dominion needs. It can be the beginning of a new era, but we need to get more of a feel for the fact that it's the end of one. As for what we could see in future movies or TV series, I picture civilians and dinosaurs being looked after by a technologically upgraded dinosaur protection group, headed up by Zia Rodriguez, and maybe it's a stretch, but she could lead alongside Nick Van Owen, another known animal lover in the series. But what I'd really like to see it focus on is the kids of this generation that grew up in a world where dinosaurs are living and breathing, like the continuing modern prehistoric adventures of Macy Lockwood and Gray Mitchell. I'd watch the heck out of that. For the record, despite the fan art that's been out there, I would not say that I'm a Gracie shipper, knowing their current ages, but I could see those two being instant besties. Now, I gotta say, my problem with them making this announcement now is that it gives the public a good idea of how Jurassic World Dominion is going to end. Frank Marshall even went on to elaborate, The dinosaurs are now on the mainland amongst us, and they will be for quite some time, I hope. Now that I think about it, did Marshall make the last trailer for Fallen Kingdom? Now, granted, I was pretty certain that the movie was not going to end with the dinosaurs going extinct or humans going on the verge of extinction, that it would be about humans learning to adjust to this radical change. I was about 90% sure that's what it was going to be. 
But there are others who theorize that all of the dinosaurs would be rounded up somehow and transported to another island just to have it nuked like at the end of the Michael Crichton novel. So now that this information is out there, probably two years before we see the movie, that possibility is out the window. But on the upside, it does let me know now that all the dinosaurs aren't somehow going to be taken to another island to be left to live there. That would mean that Fallen Kingdom pushed the franchise to the next level, only for it to revert back to the old status quo in the next movie. And frankly, that's an idea that I like even less than all the dinosaurs dying out in the franchise ending. Now, this new announcement doesn't really surprise me. It has kind of gotten to the point where Jurassic Park is like Universal's bread and butter, along with Fast and Furious. But that may be the thing that I fear most, that Universal will come to see Jurassic Park as just a product and nothing else. It could mean that future sequels will just be a string of basic rescue adventures in the vein of Jurassic Park 3. But then again, if Jurassic World Dominion does everything that it needs to do, I might be so satisfied that I wouldn't mind if that's all the following sequels are. At the same time, I hope that Universal doesn't forget that Jurassic Park is more than that. So how do you feel about more movies or TV series on the way? Are you extremely excited? Are you dead set against it? Or are you kind of split on the idea like me, and you need to see Dominion first to know how you'd feel? Whatever it be, let me know in the comments. That's a wrap. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and share. Subscribe for more. This is Pop Culture. I'm Alex Pop, and I can't wait for Jurassic World Dominion.